Fanita Fanita here. How is everybody? <laughs> okay, so today I have another jar for you guys. This one is $34.99. It's a pretty big jar. So we're going to get in there and see what's in there. Okay. Hope everybody had a great weekend and is off to a good start. Okay. Let's see. Oh, I almost cut something on top. If you hear any noise, it's my landlord. They're doing some kind of work in the building. Okay. okay, first we have a stretchy. Oh boy, what's that noise? Okay. And then we have a wood cross. A choker with rhinestones. Mark SJ. I don't know who SJ is. Okay, we have this one here, Mark T, little rhinestones. Okay, this one is marked. 925. Let's check the chain too. I want to make sure the chain is also silver, and it is. This is real pretty. Okay, so we have a little T with rhinestone initial uh, pendant. So, okay, I'm going to put this in the stuff that are good. <laughs> okay, we have chains, chains, and yeah. Is that Mark? I don't think this is anything, but no, it's not. Okay, so a bunch of chains. I'm going to go into crafts. An evil eye. Glass. We have these, the truth, trust. Okay. Oh my god. Guys, someone's shower curtain hook. <laughs> okay, this is going to go into the garbage. Oh my goodness. Okay. And we have this one here. It's a necklace, pendant. It's, these are, I think, stones. I think they're called pirates gold or fool's gold or something like that if you know what it is write it down please because i keep forgetting what this one's called okay and we have a rose quartz bracelet here i thought it was a stretchy and i was going to say it's all stretched out but it's not it's one of those pull closed ones so it's still good it just needs a little bit cleaning over here okay so that's cute okay. have a little angel. I don't know what it is. Just, I don't know. This one here with these do look like coral, but I'm not sure. It has a barrel clasp. Okay. And I am going to put my Etsy uh, video up next. So look out for that one. Okay, this one is all messed up and dirty as hell. So I'm going to throw this in with the trash um, this one here is a stretchy made out of wood and some kind of beads okay oh god hair yeah okay we have a wood necklace and I forgot what these were called it also has a barrel clasp I should make a wood lot. <laughs> Guys, look. Earphones. Oh, okay. So they're going to go in the garbage too. What are they thinking putting stuff like this in here? Okay, is this a J? Hmm. Kind of looks like the Armenian letter N. And I do live in Glendale, so it's possible. Okay, and this plastic floral design necklace, a tiny rosary, and it says something here. Thank you. Is that it for Tang? Tang you. It's T T E N G Y U E. A little cross. Okay. Oh. 
Okay, we have a necklace and bracelet attached together. And you know what? The ones that I have seen like this have been silver. So let's check, but it's so dirty. Let me see if I can see anything. Um, no. I don't see anything here. Let me check the clasp. Okay, it's very hard to see, but I I do see some kind of mark on here. Okay, I think this is silver. And it is a set, and they did put it together. So all it needs is a little cleaning up. <clears throat> I'm going to put this in the stuff that are good. <laughs> Okay, we have another rosary, and sometimes these are sterling, so we're going to check. I don't see anything, but let me get my magnet. Okay. It's not picking it up. Okay, so I will test it even though it's not marked. Oh, rosaries and a sword. <laughs> okay, it says Robin Hood on here. I think this is a letter opener. Okay, if you guys know what it is, let me know. Okay, is it a toy? Is it a letter opener? It's kind of sharp. Okay, another rosary. And they all seem to be... Well, I wouldn't say broken, but they need to be fixed. Oh, okay, the chain is not silver, but the cross may be. Okay. And we have one here. Another one. And it says Italy on the bottom. Okay, so... I'm going to test the rosaries. Another rosary. <laughs> Lots of rosaries. Okay, um, this is for hair. A little angel brooch by Liz Claiborne. Pretty. Another angel. This one's missing the back. Shamrock and it's tangled. Okay, um, okay, these are all tangled together. <laughs> okay, so let, let's see what we have here. Okay, we have a shamrock pendant, no marks. This one has a tag that says Sarah. For this one here, just a little round pendant. And this one is by Claire's, and I'm guessing that's the earphones. And then we have this bracelet here that's tangled up, but it's a bracelet. Okay. A little ball. Oh, it's making noise. Oh, okay, it's one of those chimes. So, most likely it's going to be silver. Okay, it is. It says C925. And on this side, it says Harmony BC. That's cool. Okay, so this goes on the good things. <laughs> we have a necklace here that has a kink. Yeah, that's not going to get fixed. Okay, it's not picking it up, but I don't think that this is anything. It's very flimsy. Okay, there's another one. Okay, um, there's nothing wrong with this one. I'll just hang it, keep it and hang a pendant on it because I always find loose pendants without necklaces. Okay, earring. It's pretty. It's 
a little mark here. Okay, it says 750. And some stuff in the front. Can't read it. Oh my god, such small writing. Something and Co. 750. But it's not Tiffany, it's something else. I can't read it. Okay. So let's swap the other ones in here. <laughs> I have to check and see what 750 is. I think it's gold, but I'm not sure. Okay, what is this? Not picking up. Missing the clasp. Um. Oh, it's so small, the writing on everything. Okay, it doesn't say anything. You know, I'm going to test this for silver and gold. Okay, it is marked, but I can't see what it says. Okay, we have another angel. Makes three. <laughs> uh, no marks on this one. Okay, we have a bracelet, a little heart, and this one also marked. Charles Garnier. Peru 925. Okay, so this is silver too. Okay, we're going to have to look it up. I don't know if you can see it. No, it's not focusing too well. Okay. Another little necklace here, very tiny. And I, and I checked with the magnet. Oh, see, the magnet picked up the, the clasp, but that doesn't really mean anything. Okay, it does say 925. This clasp also says 925, uh, but this piece on, in, this, in the middle might be, might be of a different metal is why it's picking it up. Okay, so I will go ahead and test it anyway, but it's very thin, so it's not really worth much. Okay, oh, okay, I lost the chain. <laughs> Um, it's a little puppy. It says, I love you. And it has a little mark in the back. It says S925. Let me check this too. And this also says S925. It's cute. A little puppy. Okay. Um... This one, oh my goodness, it's a little shoe, a little porcelain shoe with, are these numbers underneath? No, it says Japan. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, so this one here. Okay, I don't think this is anything because it's all, the color is all gone. It's worn out. And... Ooh, okay, we have a wolf uh, howling moon. Okay, I don't see any marks. It could just be brass, but this is nice. I know at least one person that would like this. <laughs> she knows who she is. <laughs> okay, this is part of the rosary. And then we have... Uh, one of those things you put in your pocket. It's a string. Oh boy. Give me a second, guys. Gotta get it. Okay, guys, okay. So this one is a little angel that you put in your pocket to give you strength. <laughs> to give you strength. And I had to drop it. Okay. Okay, we have a rhinestone necklace here. Missing a rhinestone. No marks. And it's broken. So it's going to go into crafts because people use the stones. 
another bracelet here. Uh, oh, it's missing a stone. Too bad. What is that? It's a mark. It says I am. But it's missing the stone here and over here. Okay, so that goes into crafts too. Okay, we have this necklace here with the barrel clasp. It has some aqua color stones on here. Very nice. I love the color of these. I don't know what the stones are, but beautiful colors. Okay, so that goes in the keep pile. And another rosary. <laughs> oh. oh no, look what happened here. Oh no, no, no. Snagged it all. Oh boy. Sorry, you guys, my landlord's out here being really loud. Okay, so there's another rosary type. Well, it's a heart actually. And it says made in Bethlehem, Israel. And I don't think that this is silver. Um, it is picking it up. Okay. But it is very nice. It's, all, it's a heart and it has little heart stones here. And it was snagging this one here, which is bad. Because <laughs> I really like this one. Look at this. It's a cute little peacock on here. So I'm going to have to remove this... Um, this string here and just uh, hang it on something else. It's really cute. It's a cloisonne. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay. Okay. Uh, I see earrings here. Uh, these look like they're silver. They're in gold tone. Okay, let's see. No marks. Oh my god, they're so loud. Sorry, guys. No marks, so I will test these. Okay, I like this one here, and this does look like it's coral. So we have a three strand, two, it is three, right? Yeah, three, <laughs> three strand coral necklace here. Very pretty. I like this. Okay, and okay, we have another earring. Okay, let's see if this one is marked. Okay, also not marked. Let me see if we have the other one. Okay, we have a keychain that says Las Vegas. Okay, a little ring that looks like a nail. Well, we know what that is. <laughs> Okay, a little angel here. Okay, now this is one that's stretchy, that's stretched out. Cute little butterfly here. Is it a butterfly? Nope. It's a shamrock with the mark. A zirconite. It says zirconite. Okay. Another earring. All these earrings need to be checked. <laughs> okay. Oh, we have another one here. Another cloisonne. <laughs> okay, this one has a dragon on it. Blue. I don't know if this one snagged it is a little bit. I don't know. What do you guys suggest? Like, what should I do with something like this? That's all that, you know, the rope that it comes with is snagged up. Just change the rope or just leave the rope and then just add an extra uh, necklace to it. I'm not sure, but they are nice pendants. So we have two of those. Okay, we have earrings with fauceted beads. <laughs> and gray. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, we have a little tiny bird. <laughs> I don't see anything, and I, I have a feeling the magnet's going to get that, yeah. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Okay, we have a leather-looking bracelets. 
says Misaki on it with pearls. I like the way the pearls are in here on both sides. You can see them. They're not just attached on there. Okay, and another rosary. A lot of rosaries, huh? Okay, and we have this one. What is this? Let's see. Uh, Alzheimer's end. Okay, rev rivet, revol, rev rivet, revolution, revolution, revol, revolution. Okay, and I don't know who made this. Oh, it says for mom on here. So I guess, okay, look at this. <laughs> it's a um, adjustable ring. Look how huge this is. Yes, I will marry you if you if you bring me this ring. <laughs> no, it's just a fake ring. Okay. And then a little picture here. Ceramic and it's marked. Uh, pretty port by pretty port. A little flower, probably for kids tea parties. And then we have a little owl enamel here. Two bracelets with little seed beads. Some kids pendants. An ice cream, a cupcake. And this one here. Okay, so there's three of these. Tie clip. I do not see any marks. Oh, okay. Okay, so we do have the other pair of this earring, which we're going to test. Okay, we have a bracelet with really cool uh, beads, and I love this color, but look at it, it's all stretched out. Too bad. And crafts. Okay, we have this earring here. Looks like a porcupine. This is AK, so ankline. And we have a flower, pink. No marks. Okay, we have a bracelet with tiger's eye stones. Oh, wait a minute, is it broken? Yeah. I think it's broken. Well, these two have little rhinestones in the centers, and this one doesn't. I'm guessing it's broken. So I'm just going to put that in crafts. Have a little watch here, clock looking. And the side, a little, look at it. It's a pendant. It says quartz on there. We have this necklace here with charms, Ming, M N G. No, M I. It's not M, M Ming. It's M N G. It has some kind of pestles here with feathers, and it has a toggle clasp that goes over here. There we go. It's pretty. Nothing exciting, but okay. Okay, we have a pearl necklace here. It looks pretty old. Trafari and it has the crown. Okay, it really needs a good cleaning. Okay, we have a bracelet here. No marks. Okay, another bracelet. Little balls with rhinestones and now kind of like rose gold color. Okay, so we have the other one of this earring here. Okay. A few more things. Okay, we have the earring pair here. So this we have bolt no marks. Okay, we have two more earrings here. 
and I do see writing on this one. Okay, this one is by Monet. And we have all stretched out stretch bracelet here by Michael Kors. And crafts. And we have this one here by Guess. And this is pretty scratched up too, so I'm going to put that in crafts. Then we have a stretchy the little monkey on here. Okay, I don't have the other pair of this. And then we have this necklace here. No hang, no tags on here. And then this little tree of life um, bracelet here. So that's about it. Let me go get to testing. Give me a second. This piece here, I tested for silver. It's not silver. I tested it for gold. And as you can see, it is gold. So it's at least 10 carats. So now we're going to test the other ones. Give me a second. I tested these earrings and these earrings were gold as well okay so let me clean up here and test the other items give me a second what I tested uh, this was gold this was gold these were gold and this I didn't find the other one but it was gold and this was silver this was silver this was silver and this was silver and I did there's a few more that I need to test that I haven't yet like the rosaries but I did get my money's worth just in scraps here. And I hope you guys had fun watching. This is Anita Fania saying goodbye.